I drew this house on a piece of paper uh, 18 or 19 years ago. We lived in it for almost 16 years and it burned on August 9th into the ground. It burned eight, uh, for a long time actually. So when our house caught fire, we had to leave immediately with nothing but the clothes on our back and I was in flip flops and John was in kind of old beat up boat shoes. And we ran across the street with our brand new adopted dog. And we watched the house burn until about 3 a.m. We cried like much later when I realized I lost all my mom's letters. All the letters my mom had written me throughout my life. The house was 100% lost. It took Rachel and her husband John over a year to rebuild their home in upstate New York after a devastating fire broke out in the chimney and destroyed everything. I thought the one thing that had been saved for me was the pizza oven, but a week later, the last beamwork fell and cracked it in half. So I lost the pizza oven too. What are some things that you did change this time around? Nothing. I tried to make it exactly the same. In fact, I'm really upset. I lost my linen closet. We forgot to put it back in. We changed the material of the roof to yeah. tin so that we are not going to be the three little pigs twice. Rachel invited us in for an exclusive first look at her home, all decked out for Christmas. Most of the furniture is a recreation of pieces lost in the fire, but the one mistake Rachel says she made, picking out the stove. It took me six or seven days to figure out how to turn the stove on, and I'm not joking. It has a what looks like a touchpad, but it's not a touchpad, uh -huh. and you have to use two different dials. It's a very difficult wow. stove, and it makes a lot of weird noises. I mean, I bought the stove because it was pretty. <laughs> but I should have read the fine print. <laughs> I love this, Rachel. This is fantastic. That's this is my old coffee table that is they it? made from just the general pictures that I had. Right. For now, Rachel's still shooting The Rachel Ray Show, partly from home and partly in studio. And she's got a new book out, This Must Be the Place, featuring recipes and stories from her life over the last year. The book is really about gratitude. It's not a total bummer. It's about connecting with people because everyone on the planet went through the same thing at the same time. Everyone had to pivot. Everyone suffered some sort of loss. I did feel like we lost our privacy first, then we lost our dog, then we lost our home. But in the end, what we learned is that gave us more security than we had ever had. And sharing with people in the most transparent way, that's bonded us with our, our viewers and our friends and our family in a different way than it ever had before. Mm -hmm.